Welcome to the offering webinar for DFW Portfolio. Before we get started, I'd like to get our disclaimers out of the way. We're not offering legal advice. Do your own due diligence on the offering, and please read all offering docs that are provided in the deal room. Consult your tax and legal team. And lastly, we're just providing a general overview. I'd like to introduce you to our executive leadership team here at Spartan. Scott Lewis, our Chief Executive Officer. My name is Ryan Gibson, the Chief Investment Officer, and Ben Lapidus, our CFO, who will be speaking tonight on the feasibility and the financials of the investment. For those who would like to log in to our dashboard, please visit our website, www.spartan-investors.com. Click on our investor portal. You'll see it at the top right of the screen. And you can either create a username or use your existing login. And when you log in, you'll find the DFW investment under Open Investments. This is our deal room where you'll find all the financials, the PPM, and at the top right, you'll see Start Investment, which allows you to subscribe to the offering. As a reminder, wiring instructions are provided on this page. Please confirm all wires. We recommend verbal verification. You can contact one of our investor relation team members to do so. If you have any questions, please email investors at spartan-investors.com. You can use the Q&A feature on the Zoom, or you can send us a comment. Everyone should have an invitation to the investor dashboard by now, but if you don't, simply send us a message and we will send you an invite. Spartan also has a couple opportunities to meet the team in person in both Seattle and Denver. If you'd like to attend one of our events, just please let us know. We will also be in New York City and Washington, D.C. area in mid-September, and more details will follow. So the opportunity that we're discussing tonight is the DFW portfolio, and this is comprised of 18 value-add self-storage facilities in the greater Dallas-Fort Worth metro and in East Texas. But before we dive into the details, I'd like to provide you just a little bit more background on the team at Spartan who will be carrying out all aspects of the investment. Just yesterday, Spartan was recognized for the second year in a row as one of America's fastest growing private companies. This year, we actually ranked 166, so congrats to the team. Spartan is primarily based in Golden, Colorado, with a satellite office in Seattle, Washington. The team handles the identification and acquisition of properties, raises capital primarily from individual investors, handles all aspects of property management under the FreeUp Storage National Brand, and we perform the asset management. We also have an in-house construction company that builds our storage units and renovates our facilities. And lastly, we perform all business intelligence functions in-house for our investments. Spartan operates over 12,000 units, comprising $250 million in assets, has 55 employees, and is currently operating in nine states with over 1.5 million square feet of storage. We currently operate 24 self-storage facilities under the FreeUp Storage National Brand. In Texas alone, we operate nine facilities and currently have a focus in the Dallas-Fort Worth and East Texas area. The acquisition of the DFW portfolio will increase our facility count to 27 in the area, centrally located in Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and in East Texas. This is a market that we've had a great deal of success in and have economies of scale. What we love about this opportunity is that we are in Dallas-Fort Worth market, which is the fastest growing city from 2010 to 2019. Spartan plans to add 160,000 square feet to the portfolio by building additional units in undersupplied markets that have high population growth. Due to the high occupancy at many of the facilities, the investment projects day one cash flow that we distribute monthly to our investors, and most, if not all, facilities have great drive-by traffic and great visibility from the main road. We have an attractive term sheet from our lender in the 3 to 3.25% range, with anywhere between 36 to 60 months interest only. And as mentioned earlier, we have a strong presence in the market and adding these properties will increase payroll efficiency and synergies. The market surrounding each facility has high occupancy and most of them have higher rents. And so this is gonna allow us to increase our rates to market and increase our NOI. We also will be deploying many improvements and rebrand the properties to drive traffic and increase NOI and thereby increasing valuation at all the facilities. So let's talk about the investment. The investment hold period is projected at five years. Spartan is raising $37.5 million for the investment, and our minimum investment is $50,000. The investment has a preferred return of 7.5%, and a 50 k investment projects an annual return of 17.5% with an equity multiple of 1.88 over a five-year period. 
So let's talk about cash flow. Cash flow projections for a 50K investor are great. We exceed 6% cash on cash in the first year, and we exceed over 8% over the course of the investment. Investors all share in the upside from sale for a total of $93,833. That's a $50,000 return of your investment and a $43,833 profit when you combine all the cash flow you receive along the way plus the sales upside. Spartan also offers a Class B share for investments of $2 million or more. Ownership of the project increases 20% over what a Class A investor would receive. Projections are increased to 19.5 annual return with a 1.98 multiple over five years. There's also projected day one cash flow and sales upside. So now I'm going to turn things over to our CFO, Ben Lapidus, who's going to talk about the market fundamentals that enable us to achieve our business plan. Thank you. Ryan, thanks for that kickoff to the Dallas-Fort Worth portfolio opportunity. Hi folks, I'm Ben Lapidus, the Chief Financial Officer of Spartan Investment Group, and I'm going to run us through the feasibility work that Spartan has done on this. And let's talk about what Spartan actually does before we dive into the material. We look at due diligence as an opportunity to verify all the information that was presented to us by either a seller or broker as true and verifiable. Feasibility is external to the property itself. It's the market conditions that allow us to drive our business plan that produces our targeted returns in the underwriting. So first, let's talk about Dallas-Fort Worth. Our portfolio is split between Dallas-Fort Worth and East Texas. And Dallas-Fort Worth is one of Spartan's favorite metro areas in the United States, like many real estate investors. And that's because Dallas-Fort Worth was the number one fastest growing city from 2010 to 2019 in the United States by raw number count. The 2020 census came out and Dallas-Fort Worth was one of 10 cities that has over a million people in city proper. In the greater MSA, it's one of the most dynamic places, not only in the country, Country, but in the world. Not only does it house 21 Fortune 1000 companies like AT&T, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, ExxonMobil, Neiman Marcus, Texas Instruments, which is not just based on oil, it is a very dynamic economic landscape, but it also hosts the second number of the top 50 international companies in the world. And it's only becoming more dynamic. Inc. Magazine in 2019 ranked Dallas in the top 10 hottest startup cities in America. And while Dallas-Fort Worth proper is growing, the bedroom communities around Dallas-Fort Worth are growing even faster. In 2019, I was personally driving around Forney, Texas, where we were looking at several self-storage opportunities, and there was an expected 37% population growth in that town. The next town over is Terrell, Texas, and that's where three of our properties are located. And we're going to own that market. We are going to own three out of the five facilities in Terrell, Texas which is fantastic because that is going to be one of the fastest growing suburbs in the Dallas-Fort Worth metro. We also own a property in Krugerville, right next door to Denton, Texas, which is another fastest growing suburb in the Dallas-Fort Worth metro. We have a property, Big Toy Storage, in this portfolio in Waxahachie, Texas, that has several developments across the street, behind the property, all over the place, one of the fastest growing bedroom communities in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. We have the benefit of being in the Dallas-Fort Worth metro by being in the suburb communities, but we also have the benefit of not competing with the REITs in each of these particular locations. We love Dallas-Fort Worth metro, but even more than that, we love being in the suburbs where we can own the individual communities in terms of supply that's offered. The other half of the portfolio, five out of the 18 particular locations, is East Texas. East Texas is made up of three MSAs, Longview, Texarkana, and Tyler. All of our facilities are in the Tyler market, which is the town that is closest to the Dallas-Fort Worth metro, which makes operational efficiencies between the two markets more attractive. Spartan already owns five assets in Tyler and Longview, Texas, and we've had exceptional results. In fact, our fastest growing lease up in our portfolio is in Longview, Texas, just the next major town over from Tyler. It's a successful market because it is a hub for manufacturing, transportation, healthcare, distribution, and food processing operations. It sits perfectly on the NAFTA corridor between Canada and Mexico for goods to travel between the three countries. All 14 locations with their four satellites are between Dallas-Fort Worth Metro and the East Texas Metro, which are neighboring to each other. But within those metros, the 14 properties and four satellites are spread across eight counties. There's 254 counties in Texas, and 10 out of the 14 main locations are in the top 10% of net migration counties in the state of Texas, which is in the top 10 net migration states in the United States. And with that, I'm going to hand it off to Ryan to walk us through each property in the portfolio. 
Thank you, Ben. I'm now going to provide a high-level overview of the properties inside the DFW portfolio. There is an expansion at five facilities consisting of 160,000 square feet. And even though we have the ability to expand by 250,000 square feet, we're only going forward with 160,000 square feet to be conservative. The facility average occupancy across the entire portfolio is 83%, and there's strong market occupancy throughout the portfolio, which projects day one cash flow. The existing facilities are constructed with standard self-storage construction materials consisting of metal and concrete. Overall, they're well-built structures. I'd like to just highlight the five facilities that we have expansion on, starting in Terrell, Texas. This property conveys with an extra three acres of expansion, allowing us to build at least 40,000 square feet in a market that has favorable conditions for the expansion. The next facility boasts a 99% occupancy, and Spartan is very familiar with the Tyler, Texas market, and we have two locations co-located already in this market. In 2020, that was one of our best performing assets in our portfolio. We plan to expand this facility by 55,000 square feet. The Flint facility has 10,000 square feet of expansion, and overall, the facility has been well occupied at 92%. We plan to expand the Ferris property by 30,000 square feet, in a market that, like Tyler, Texas, is well occupied at 99%. The last facility we plan to expand is in Paris, Texas. And with an occupancy of 98% and strong demand, we're planning a 30,000 square foot expansion. Page 17 of our offering memorandum also breaks down all the traffic counts, market occupancy, and expansions planned across each of the 18 facilities. And with that, I'm gonna hand it back over to Ben, who's gonna walk us through the underwriting of the investment opportunity. Thanks, Ryan. Ben Lapidus here again. And folks, I'm going to tr walk you through the financials that mirror our underwriting file that's available on the portal for this opportunity. The first data point I want to direct your attention to is the revenue growth that we're going to achieve between year one and year three. We're looking to go from gross potential rental income of $7.3 million to over $10 million in 48 months. And how do we expect to do that? There's a couple of different components to our business plan, but the first is, is we're going to push the street rates by 16%. And that's because we look at the comparable rents in the marketplace today based off of asset quality grade, A grade assets, B grade assets, and C grade assets. Then we look at what is going to be the grade of each of our facilities after we inject the $3.4 million of initial improvements across the entire portfolio. And when we, when we make that comparison, we see that there is a 16% blended delta across the portfolio between where our rents should be after our quality grade improves across the portfolio and where rents are today. So we're going to be pushing our street rates by 16%. But it's not just the street rates. The market occupancy of the vast majority of these locations are 98, 99%. There is no reason why the economic occupancy should be as low as it is other than manager, operator, lack of efficiency. So we're going to be increasing collections by 32% in the first 24 months. That doesn't mean that we're going to expect to be able to increase street rates 32%. That just means that we're going to get rid of the discounts. We're going to get rid of the delinquencies. We're going to get rid of the friends and family people who are there paying 30, 40, 50% less than some of their peers who are paying street rates today. And in addition to that, we're going to also increase the street rates by 16%. So that's part one of the business plan. It's operational efficiencies. Get to a point where our asset quality grade can demand the extra 16% plus on the street rates and increase our collection such that the overall revenue growth on the existing supply is close to 32%. Part two of the business plan is to take advantage of the quarter million square feet that we could improve upon. However, we've looked at the markets across each of the 14 major locations and assessed not every facility should be improved upon with additional supply. Just because we have the land doesn't mean we should build the additional supply. So there's five locations that we've determined that not only do we have the space to expand, but we also have the market conditions that are ripe for expansion. And those five locations, we've determined 160,000 square feet, at least to start with. But that's what we underwrote, 160,000 square feet. We believe that we can achieve that with a very high level of confidence. That 160,000 is going to make up half of the additional revenue that we're going to be achieving between year one and year three. So yes, it is a 50% gross potential rental income growth in 24 months, but it is achievable by way of the market conditions on our existing supply and by adding new supply of 160,000 feet. That is a, almost a 20% increase to the supply today. The second data point that I wanna draw your attention to is the debt service. The debt service coverage ratio or the debt yield, depending on what you like to look at, 
are two of the best metrics to look at in terms of risk. Banks like to see a debt service coverage ratio of 1.25 to 1.3x of NOI. That means that you can cover your debt service and still have a cushion of 0 0.25, 0 0.3 uh, left over on top of that debt service. An extra 25% or 30% in excess of the cost of your debt is profit, at least. Banks wanna make sure that you are profitable with the debt service. In our first year, based on the terms that we're anticipating, we expect to have a debt service coverage ratio of 2.1. And that's only going to grow from there. If we maintain an I.O. period in year three, the debt service coverage ratio is going to be over three, much, much better than the 1.25. And even if we have a conversion to an amortized payment in year four, we're still looking at a 2x debt service coverage ratio by that year. However, based on the conversations that we're having right now, we believe that we're going to be able to have an I.O. period for the entirety of the hold period of five years, but we underwrote a IO period of three years. We are targeting a rate of 3.25% uh, and to include the construction component at 70% loan to cost. Our primary course of action is to achieve a 3.25% interest rate on 70% loan to cost on all of our items. That includes the 88.5 million of acquisition, the 3.4 million of initial improvements, and the 9 million plus in construction costs for the 160,000 square feet of expansion. The final data point I want to call your attention to is property taxes. Spartan has a lot of experience collaborating with multiple counties in the state of Texas and leveraging the laws built around equitable property tax assessments to make sure that we have the best outcome. So we feel very confident when we look at our competitive property tax dollars per square foot in the market to determine what our property tax increase is going to be. And so we've conservatively estimated that the property taxes blended across the portfolio are not likely to be higher than 40 to 50 percent, but we've underwritten a 59 percent increase in our portfolio property taxes to be achieved in month 18 of this portfolio. So we're underwriting a increase to the property taxes pretty early on in the portfolio. And we believe that this is fairly conservative given the conditions of what we've assessed across the competitive landscape in each of the different eight counties. So walking through what this means for each investor, a class A member has a minimum investment of 50,000. That's going to earn them an ownership amount of 0.0775% per 50,000. For class B members, the minimum investment amount is $2 million, and the ownership for $2 million is 3.72%. That is a prorated 20% equity kicker relative to class A members, but both classes have the same preferred return of 7.5%. The total operating returns on every $50,000 investment for class A members is $20,106 and $23,726 for the sales side, the liquidity of them. So almost a 50-50 split between the two. The total return works out to 17.5% annualized over a five-year hold with an equity multiple of 1.88. On the Class B side, it's 815,000 total operating returns for a $2 million minimum investment with a liquidity event upside of over 1.1 million. So a little bit more weighted to the sales upside due to that equity kicker. But it works out to a annualized return of 19.5%. So by investing a minimum of $2 million, there is a 2% additional return for Class B members relative to Class A for an equity multiple of 1.98x, almost a doubling of your money in five years. And of course, we always like to look at what is our worst and our best case scenario. We can't guarantee that the returns are going to fall between worst and best case, but we have a very high level of confidence given our historical performance that we've experienced over the last half decade in self-storage to produce a range of returns. So while we're targeting a blended return between class A and class B of 17.9%, we have a high level of confidence that the returns are going to fall between 12% in our worst case scenario and 25% in our best case scenario. And the variables that change between the worst case, the best case, and the likely case scenario are some of the more meaningful ones. What's our assumed cap rate? What's our assumed rent growth? What's our assumed hold period? What's our assumed lease up rate on the expansions? The major variables are considered in determining the likely worst and best case outcomes. And with that, I'm going to pass it back over to Ryan to take us home. Thank you, Ben. I wanted to thank everybody for watching the webinar, and I'd also like to introduce you to our investor relations team here at Spartan. Ted Green, Lauren Breischel, and myself, Ryan Gibson, are available to answer any questions you have about investing or on your current investments. The next steps are to log in and subscribe to the offering. If you need access to the investor dashboard, please reach out to one of us by emailing investors 
at spartan-investors.com. From the dashboard, you'll find all the documents pertaining to the offering and have the Start Investment button to start the subscription process. Well, thank you, everybody. We have our entire executive team on the webinar this evening to go over live questions. If you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A window or send a comment. Thank you.